You're listening to Potty Mouth Radio, the home of movies, music, television, and comedy. Previously on Time to Die, we'd stumbled onto a family of rats led by the biggest, ugliest rodent I've ever seen. I love and respect all the natural world and hold all animal life sacred, but even I was pleased when Umlaut hacked it to bits. That big green lass really is proving a most valuable companion. More than I can say for that hulking blue twat. Hopefully the healer will bloody heal someone other than himself sometime soon. Thankfully, he then uttered some curse out loud and has probably doomed us all. I'm Paul and I'm playing Kalana, a stunningly beautiful female high elf who is also a rogue. I'm Liz and I'm playing Umlaut, a young half-orc fighter from the Nibblefeet tribe. I'm Dave, and I'm playing Felomir Wolfborn, a half-elf wild magic sorcerer. I'm Billy, and I'm playing as Thelonious, the monk, get it? A nine-foot-tall, 500-pound tiefling who until recently had never left the monastery. I'm Drew, and I'm your dungeon master. It's time to die. Well... Picking back up where we last left off, everybody except for Umlaut and Meepo uh, got kind of caught in a Shrek fart from that uh, dragon statue as uh, Thelonious was kind enough to read the Draconic out loud. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. You won't be doing that again. I love that. I I I found the damn thing. (laughs) Thelonious just sitting there shaking his head like, there's a reason I read it. In my head. <laughs> yeah, the reason he read it in his head is because he didn't want anyone to have the knowledge of what it said, yeah. not because he thought it's some bad. <laughs> sure, yeah. I was trying yeah. to be helpful. To, to be fair, to be fair, no, it, it wasn't altruism or, or it, it was it was it was pure selfishness of wanting to. Do I want these people to know this stuff or not? As it worked out, yeah. Thanks, yes, you're monks. super <laughs> smug out of this. You're just like, see, I'm the best person ever. And everyone else is like, fuck you. So, Falamir, Thelonious, and Kalana, everybody is caught in this cloud of noxious gas. I need everyone to give me a <laughs> constant, a constitution saving throw. Falamir, get back there. You're still there. <laughs> I love that I'm not because I can't read. I love that oh, I'm Maybe if you had fucking healed me, Billy. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone needs to give me All right. a con save. I'm good. Alamir, God bless it with your 24. Am I back to full health with, with that? 13. <laughs> and. Was the gas visible? Yes. Yeah. From behind you, you hear this like. You hear someone sh- say a word that you're not sure of. Kalana got a six. <sighs> uh, behind you, Umlaut, yes, you do hear this like rumble, rattling of pipes, and then this, and a uh, an area is kind of filled with this green mist that starts subsiding. There's lots of coughing. Um, Billy and Dave, you guys take half, and Paul, you're going to take the full brunt of this uh, damage. Is it moving, or will it stay where it is? Oh, it'll subside. I turn to Meepo while they're okay. coughing and go, that seems bad. Oh, well, you take oh. two damage and Billy. Oh, thank fuck. God. <laughs> and Dave, you take one. You take one. Thank God. Jesus so what, what are you thinking, God? I'm roll. down to two. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what, though? I reckon this room, and we found a bedroll, I reckon this seems like a decent time for a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are in there. Umlaut, you just saw them, um, like, it looks like someone, you know, uh, set off a stink bomb inside. Uh, are you still going down with your plan to venture and look in these little doors? Yeah, I'm sure shit not going into the giant <laughs> plume of smoke or gas or whatever. It's I'm like, like Shrek damn, time. look like you guys made a bad choice. And then I'm going <laughs> to peek into this first door along the corridor that we came down. As she's looking in, the second itself, again, as you remember coming down the way, contain six doors that are slightly ajar. The area itself, you remember, and it is kind of bringing back those vibes, it's a bit musky. And as you kind of creep in and you kind of poke your head inside the door, as you look inside, yet again, you find a very familiar and old friend, a rat (laughs) from 
the floor and shatters its teeth at you. What? That's so surprising. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we need to get out of this room now that we're coughing and spluttering and we need to find bloody Umlau and Meepo before something stupid happens. Oh, yep. well, wait, I'm too late. Yeah, I already saw a rat. <laughs> but I'm going nowhere near rat, that rat. I'm going to sit here carefully rubbing my two hit points together. Has the rat <laughs> seen <laughs> Umlaut yet or is she just peeking through the door and has seen it? Well, I was trying the to rat, just peek. The rat has very much uh, seen Umlaut as she opened the... Uh, it's already it's open. Actually, it's actually a cell door um, and uh, she peeked her... Uh, she peeked her head in. So the two of them are going to roll initiative. Oh. Uh, Meepo will also roll initiative since Meepo is so close. Okay. I was hoping I could just peek in and go, ooh, a rat. I'll leave you to it. Sorry for interrupting. Have a lovely <laughs> afternoon and then back back out. But no? Okay. Ooh, someone's got a pie in their initiative. <laughs> but it's Let's not you anymore. We've solved no. your no. issue. Oh, jeez. 21, Liz. Still not as fast okay. as me, I'm out. You're not even here, so I don't think that's relevant. <laughs> well, but I will become wading in first up soon. <laughs> Kalana's like, excuse me, I'm here. So I, fast I want to take you come running combat. down the corridor. And I get am them. relevant. <laughs> but you're also not a gorgeous. Man. Have I not? I didn't mention last episode how hot I am. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels like a guy coming into men's D20 play plus and be like, "Oh, bonus. you need help with this combat? Let me show you." <laughs> well, actually, I can do this combat better than you. Much but better than you. I can. That's Kalana sure. is a woman, so that doesn't fit. But I will stab this thing in its butt. No one does that as well as me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got an initiative twenty-one. So I. Am I actually engaged in combat with the rat? So if I try to just go, okay, uh, yeah. So you could you could go in there and uh, and swipe at the rat. But I could also back out you could also and be like, like back out have and a close nice the afternoon. door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you totally could. Would that prompt an attack of uh, a surprise no. attack? No. no, 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 no. Because you're you are more than it. It is ten feet away from. You. Perfect. In that case, I will in fact say. Have a good afternoon, sir. Sorry to bother you. And then, like, <laughs> close the cell door. But then I want to move along to the next cell door and peek in there. No, there stop there peeking in doors, Umlaut. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I like doors. I like peeking. I like okay, children. So I, will give you, I will give you one more door to peek in. Um, where do you want to peek in? Are we coming out of the room now? Coughing and If you guys would like to. I would yeah. like to come out of the yeah, room. I'm but gonna... now, so like, hold on. Uh, so every, was everyone resting? Everyone was resting. Not yes. Are we yet. resting? We, were, no, we, we, have, we haven't yes. rested not yet. yet. No. no. I'd like, to, I'd like to talk okay. to Omlad about that and say, let us have a rest. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Before uh, he can do which... that, I'm picking in this door. I'm picking in the door next to Meepo on the other side of the corridor. So like the middle okay. one on the other side. Okay. So you, uh, you grab hold of the door and you are opening it to look inside? Yes, I am. But only a little bit. I just want to peek in. Well, as you peek inside and you are looking, uh, there is a pair of jaws jumping out Dude, at you. Dude, I was really hoping it would be just full of gold bullion. <sighs> yeah, okay. I'll roll for initiative if I can. Right. I'll just try and do the same thing and shut the door on it. Um... Well, it bites you. Already? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 23. It, it bites you for five. Ooh. Okay. I'm like, well, okay. This I think there's a lesson here thing. for all orcs. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just Umlaut that matters here. And I think even Umlaut can learn this lesson of, I don't think I want to keep looking in these doors anymore. It, it's bitey. Did you okay. just roll a one for initiative? Yes, I did. But I didn't need it because it bit me anyway. Meepo saw you get attacked, so Meepo will also roll initiative to help out. Um, you, uh, the rat, gets it uh, gets its uh, top initiative again. And it's... Uh, Gonna try and bite you one more time. This is really not okay. Why is it by the rat Meepo? misses? Oh, good. The rat misses with a fourteen. Uh, now Meepo will go on a thirteen. Meepo is going to throw come over terrible. here, and Meepo is going to try and uh, again throw his sling, but uh, he's going to fire a disadvantage because he's uh, he's going to swing it around you. He's saying I'm fat. <laughs> yeah, he's that's gonna, exactly what he, Meepo He's going to curve it like the bullets in Wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Meepo hits it, even with disadvantage. Ooh. And the rat 
takes it right between the eyes and dies. Yes. Meepo. Go, Meepo. I'm going to start calling Meepo MVP. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I wrong? It's just that Meepo's now killed more things than Felomir? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Not cool, Smokey Elf. Um, I'm allowed just gonna is gonna look at this dead rat and then look at me, Po, and sigh and be like, "I think we have to be friends now." You, that was good. Thank you. Meepo kind of looks at you and goes, "Friend." I'm like, "Don't make it weird." Okay? Are you gonna Are you gonna suggest that Meepo stab it in the eyes? <laughs> when you When you say don't make it weird, Meepo goes like, "Ran." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, no, because I'm not that good a friend that I'm going to try and protect him from creepy ghost rats that come and follow him around at night. So I'm like, <laughs> I'll quietly giggle to myself and be like, Haha, he doesn't notice that in the eyes. <laughs> and then I will take a peek around the, the cell to see if there's anything of note in there other than a rat. And if so not, then I'll we've go. followed out in the hallway by now, to the corridor by now, I would imagine. Yep. And we need to have a chat, Umlaut, about... Resting up because big surprise, the wizard needs healing. Well, I guess if the wizard. Sorcerer, needs... please, you racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if the magic man needs healing, I guess we better take care of him. You well, don't look the best either. What happened? That's a great big chunk torn out of you. It's a mere scratch. Just a right. scratch. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. Gotcha. Because yeah. I'm not like, looking. Oh, she's read Shakespeare. Looking around. Looking around this room, you find uh, six silver pieces. So worth it. I'm like, oh, shiny. <laughs> you also find three gold pieces. Ooh. And is someone find... adding these to their inventory? Yeah, me. I'm loud. Is adding it to the two. <laughs> and you find one <laughs> well, me gem technically of should. unknown worth. One gem. That's fun. Okay, so I'm loud then is going to, once she's finished finding all this sweet money and gems and whatnot, she's going to, yeah, let's say the others. Oh, well, you know, since, um, was it Thelonious had come over and said we need to sleep or Kalana um, say, well, look, well, I've just emptied this cell. We could just get rid of this rat corpse. And then she looks at the eyes and she's like, no, no, we're okay. I'm okay. Meepo killed this one. And then she she could dump it out in the corridor and be like, we could sleep in here and close the door. Yeah, we do need a safe place to sleep with a door we can close, I'm guessing. Let's all cuddle up in the dirty, dank cell. Can we all fit in there? Meepo can't fit. Oh, Meepo can sleep Meepo, outside Meepo, Meepo yeah, can watch hallway. guard can we ask Meepo to watch guard do we trust Meepo to watch guard I mean he no. let us here <laughs> we trust Meepo if the door's shut I mean Meepo is actually my friend I've decided I don't know if I've decided right. that about any of you so maybe we're shoving one of you out in the corridor Meepo, Meepo um, we're all feeling a bit sleepy mate uh, would you mind watching the door for us to make sure that no rats charge at us while we have a nap Meepo stand guard yeah excellent you're a good guy as we go to rest nap time uh, take particular interest in this studded leather armor that we took from the ranger's corpse before and think that might actually be an improvement on my pretty plain leather armor and will change and then sleep. Sure. You put it on and uh, it does increase your AC, your armor class. Woohoo! Um, Amla is going to um, sleep on the other side of the... Like, we're going to close the door with Meepo on the outside... I'm going to sleep across the front of the door. So like it was almost like a door stop. Okay. Can mm-hmm. we also get rid of that corpse, please? I've thrown it out into the corridor. Uh, sure. Yeah, you can totally. I fling it. <laughs> Meepo like looks at it and like grabs it by the tail. And, eats and it. as you're closing the door, you see him like dragging the rat <laughs> down the hall. And he throws it in the pit. Sweet. That's actually pretty smart. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, I feel, I feel well, nice. just a heads up though, when we say we're going to have a long rest in future, um, we should wait until Drew confirms that we've had a long rest before we hit the button on long rest on our sheets. Oh, just in case we get interrupted sometimes during the rest. DMs like to fuck with you and yeah, not that's let you fair. Have a long rest. As soon as your head hits the pillow, I don't trust you, you as... get struck by lightning. Okay, no, yeah, that, I don't that's trust good you as know. far as I can throw you, Drew, I've got to say. <laughs> well, has, has the GM approved the long rest yet then? Yes, you guys can have a pot. Look, I've learned this the hard way, all right? <laughs> all right. Am I wrong in suggesting that down the corridor, as we, I'll, I'll let the GM set the tone, then I will. Are you wrong to su- what, suggest what? There's a thing in the fountain that wasn't there before. That's what I said last session. Well, I mean, if you're going to look down the map. <laughs> well, don't stick it in the map ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's Maybe wait. it's a new map. 
Maybe I'm trying to figure things out. <laughs> All right. Let's wake up from a rest. Um, can I suggest, Umlaut, that we stop looking indoors at this point, please? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of already came to that same conclusion after I kept getting bited. Like, I, it's just very biting <laughs> we'll looking at doors. Skip all the rat doors and let's just backtrack down the corridor and look for something yeah. else. I mean, me, so when we get to that, so am I wrong in saying that that intersection there, there looks like there's a hallway that goes off to the west uh, just it, to the south of us? There's something. We can't see. We need to walk down and look at it. It goes What's, further than what we can see. I yes, think. that's exactly the point there. So I think we should wander back through there and then if there look. is... Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you want to walk back down the corridor that we came from into the big open part yep. with the fountain? This is no, no, no oh, over, you, over you, this you, way, you, just no, before ch- the check out this yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh, the cross, the crossway. So there's like yeah. a T junction, or well, not a T junction, yeah. a cross junction. Meepo, is there anything around this way? Meepo will follow you guys down there. So we've basically all woken, woken up and said, "Did you have a nice sleep? I had a nice sleep. You're all good." And now we've all gone. Okay, let's keep going and move into this cross junction, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. And gone, ooh, what's down there? Is that a door? You come in this way, you do see a door. Uh, you're more than welcome to check the door. door. Um, it's like, can I open the door? I like to open doors. What do you reckon? I don't know if you've you noticed are... that about me. You are free to open the door. Oh, no, she's looking for um, approval from probably Kalana. <laughs> <laughs> Kalana. I think we're all ready for you to open this particular door. Thank you, yep. Omelette. Let's give it a go. Amla opens the door. Okay. Proudly. <laughs> Proudly opens the door. <laughs> All right. You open the door itself. Uh, this chamber itself is actually empty. However, if you kind of do look around, you do notice that there are rat droppings, crumbled flagstone, and uh, some stains along the, uh, along the stonework. And is that a door at the other end? That is another door. On the other end of the chamber itself. I'm like, well, run forward, see it, and open that door. Too. Oh, boo oh. All right. I asked Meepo, that is this the way time. you meant to take us? Is this, do you think this is where we're meant to go? Meepo kind of looks at you and goes, yes, yes, right way. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dripping with confidence. Yeah, if I'm like, was smarter, she would definitely hear the bullshit in that. But she isn't, <laughs> so she doesn't. So she opens the door. <laughs> she sure does. She's like, I open doors. You said doors. Meepo would definitely try to. Uh... Actually, you know what? He'll he'll roll the persuasion check. That's a ten. <laughs> Not persuading much. Unless anyone wants to roll an insight to see if he's lying to you. I'm let tax him and everyone else at all times at face value. Well, I I clearly <laughs> believe him. We all believe Meepo. <laughs> All right, we're on the right path. Excellent. Yep, let's do it. Let's open that door. Beyond this door lies certain death. <laughs> Thank God it's certain death. If it was questionable death. I hate uncertainty. I don't want any of it. Amlet is not good with ambiguity. <laughs> I care not for ambiguity. <laughs> I just don't think she understands it. She probably, she, oh no, no, she definitely can't spell it. <laughs> Definitely not. I want to point out here that Liz can, okay? Like, Liz is, Liz is not dumb. What's I'm happening? Is the Drax of this particular universe. Okay. <laughs> I'll go you one better. Who is ambiguity? <laughs> <laughs> Where can I kill them with my great axe? I'm out here it and goes, did you say big? Are you saying I'm fat? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you open the door, this 10-foot wide hall is... Oh, you're just walking on in. I okay, sure perfect. Am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, Liz. <laughs> I'm loud. Liz would be far more sensible and wouldn't walk through <laughs> random doors. Um, okay. Now I need to, to reveal the whole I, I room. I need to find something. I need to find something since you just walked right in. Oh, good. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw, please. Thank God, oh, dexterity is my that doesn't sound good. <laughs> only good thing. So oh, technically you've true. walked in about seven feet. <laughs> so uh you made uh you made one dexterity save. Um you uh you kinda like catch your balance, but then your foot goes down one more time. Give me one more. Okay. So this room like... is just a pit. <laughs> I feel like I'm uh 
doing some sort of sweet dance move right now to manage this, by the way. Oh. Roll. Yeah, that seemed worse. As your foot comes down uh, one last time after you catch yourself, you notice there is a sharp pain uh, in your foot. As you look down and you see that this entire room is just strewn with cow traps. Mm. I'm sorry, with what now? Spiky things on the floor. That seems bad. Yeah, spiky balls. How Little, do you all know yeah, what caltrops is? This, I just don't, imagine if that helps. <laughs> oh, like a, okay, so five, imagine five, you've got yeah, courage, like determination. Jacks, five like pointed jacks. things so that no matter which way you throw it, a spike is always pointing straight up. Yep. yep. They would, they would, they throw would throw them in front of horses. the battlefields to uh, prevent um, cavalry right. from uh, charging in. It's like oh, a shark you're demat. all nerdy history dorks. Got it. Yeah. AKA horse fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dave, you can whatever you do in your private time is your own business. <laughs> Chaotic neutral, don't judge me. Nice. Um, so um, the uh, the ten foot hall is liberally strewn with sharp caltrops. Um, on the northern wall uh, to the passage to the room beyond, you see that it's also partially blocked up and roughly mortared. A uh, three foot high wall, and it is complete with crenellations. I also don't know what crenellations. <laughs> <laughs> and by that, I definitely mean I'm loud little, uh, and not little openings, loud. Little, little slits. Okay. Um, I will yell up to the rest of the party behind me, don't come through Ow. here. It's full of ouchies. <laughs> it's ouchies. You don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, and then I will, like, I guess, pull my foot off the ouchie. How big is it? That's what I'm not calling them now, by the way, ouchies. Oh, the ouchies. The ouchie would definitely, like, fit in the palm of your hand. In that case, I'd like to what? pick up. Two or three, maybe, and shove them in my bag. Can I do that? You are more than welcome to pick up two or three and shove them in your bag. Um, Drew, sh- surely knowing now that there are caltrops there, one could walk with a sweeping motion of one's feet and just push them aside. Okay, this is rather not... Than- Jumping, yeah, yeah. walking carefully. This is not yeah. June two, okay? You know, <laughs> like cross the desert because they're, they're not fixed to the floor; they're just loosely strewn. You can just push them out of the way with your feet, knowing they're there. Yeah, they are definitely on the floor, and you do have the ability to one hundred percent, like, kind of just uh, casually kick them out of the way, maybe yeah. making a uh, a path, yep. as one would say. Fear, actually, can Amla see what else is like? Is there is a door in the room? Did you say to the north? Yeah, I think Amla will pick up one and go, oh, oh, well, I can move them and like put three in her bag and then she'll yell out, don't worry, we can move the ouchies. So if you want to come, you'll be okay. And then don't we'll- worry, we can move the ouchies. Yeah. All right. All right. As Let's you go. are, as you are uh, yelling, like, careful, there are things on the floor. Not ouchies. <laughs> nah, not the ouchies. Um, you suddenly hear. Noises such as and this seems fine. So as you are kind of yelling back to everybody, you hear some mumbled voices from down the hall, and I'm assuming these are going to be the party members because caltrops are not a goblin-y sort of thing. Ooh, ooh. They don't, goblins don't have cavalry, so they wouldn't employ caltrops. This is something a race that has cavalry. Would have all right. Kit. So Liz, think it too hard, Dave. Two, I reckon <laughs> you see two arrows fly right by you. Okay, and they miss you. So uh, someone or something is down at the end um, of the hall. Okay, I'm gonna well, yell. Says says goblin in the chat. So I'm gonna <laughs> take a stab. <laughs> Way to spoil Dave? the mystery. Okay. Um, Amla is just going to yell, don't shoot at me. You don't want to. I'm very mean and have a Cranky. big axe. So stop that. And then can she sort of duck back out, of, use her movement to like just duck back out of the way behind the wall and then yep, sort of 100%. peek. And she'll be like, guys, there's people like shooting arrows at me and I don't like it. Excellent. Cool. All right. Hey, wizard, do you have some range effect? Like, you know, area you could cast like something good? Me? I sure yeah. as shit don't. Everything I cast is good. Is it though? <laughs> Time to shine. Come on. All right. Shoot a fireball. Uh, uh, do we need to roll for initiative, Drew, or do we all just start hurling range well, shit down I've, through the doorway? I, I don't know what you're doing. Do you guys want to go in there and try and Neither fight? Neither do we. Look, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to break with tradition and light crossbow through the door. 
I mean, let's chat okay. about this. I mean, we could just leave, but I mean, the dragon we're looking for was taken by goblins. So if these are and goblins, this might possibly, be the right I way. Mean, I don't know that our players have access to the chat window, so we possibly don't know that they're goblins. But I think <laughs> I, I think well, our do characters now. <laughs> I think our characters would gamble on the fact that possibly it is goblins. Okay. Why? <laughs> well, it's not going to be kobolds because they're on our side. It's not going to be rats because they don't shoot arrows. Oh, well, look, not co- does not have the critical reasoning for this. She's just going to be like, <laughs> this could be the ghost oh, rats. Well, it's Shoot probably arrows. goblins. I vote we send Dave in to shoot something at them. I can shoot from outside the door, you fucker. <laughs> I'd really rather you go in there, though. <laughs> Just because I'm back up to eight hit points does not mean I need to go willy-nilly flinging them down the hallway. Um, I, I'm going to sh- take, a, take a shot down the hallway with my light crossbow. Okay. So where where are you then, Dave? In that spot, I'm, in front I'm, of the door. I'm yeah, I'm I'm in. So you'd have to there, stand in the doorway. Yeah. I'm standing just outside the doorway, <laughs> but looking straight down the doorway. Short, sure. Does a fourteen hit? Uh, a fourteen does not hit because yeah. you don't know exactly what you're shooting at. I I'm think they're firing shooting, they're, down the hall. Yeah, they're shooting through the the uh, the, the narrow slit, the crenellation. Right? So, they are. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What do we yeah, want to do right. here? What What do we think? I kind of. Well, what are our two options? We either sally forth down this well, we corridor. Well, we have to go through. These are clearly the or, way to go, right? Or we head back to the fountain in the previous room, where. Well, I'm not going to read anything on any fountains anymore. <laughs> poss- possibly some shits happening around the fountain. I, I we, we, oh, we don't right. know, but you know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you you're right. Um, look, I don't know. Do we put um, this to a vote? Matter, I told you fountains were dumb. As a man of God, I, I wonder whether we, you know, take everyone's opinions into account here. I say we just... <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I, I'm with Umlaut and Kalana. I reckon that we go in here and, and see what yeah, we can Yeah, Umlaut just wants to kill Yeah, things, majority rules. She just wasn't oh, sure how to kill something okay. from far away. <laughs> <laughs> Thelonious, it doesn't sound like Kalana is necessarily in your camp. <laughs> They've got to be here for a reason, you know, I, I right? Can't get around no, the stab there, things in like, the back. For, so, there's got to be something you're guarding. Or... Uh, look, basically, it's the the fighter, right? So it depends what she wants to do, because she's going to be the one leading the way. So, Drew, right. from Op- where we are, Operation can we... Orc Shield is in effect. Can we actually see down this corridor where we would want to go? Can we see where this corridor leads to, or a door, 60, or anything? Sixty yards of dark vision, so, or whatever the hell we've got. So the corridor itself is roughly like in front of you about, you know, 12, 10, 12 ish feet. You have caltrops strewn out throughout the entirety of the hallway itself. At the very end, you do see this kind of three foot high makeshift mortared wall. And uh, I mean, you could probably see over it if you got closer, but it definitely seems that. The wall is not part of the actual masonry work that is. Okay, so Liz thinks that these people can only be here because they're trying to protect something. Omelette just wants to hit shit. So I think Omelette's going to go, oh, look. So clearly, so you guys, a... I'm in. Oh, she's gone. And, yeah, she's going to sprint. <laughs> We're too late, Paul. She's, she's going to sprint down the hallway. It's going to be magnificent as shit. And the hair's blowing in the breeze. And are you, are you just going to run down there and leap over that makeshift wall? I'm going to sprint down and then do this amazing swirl around and smash my great axe into the mortared wall to see if it breaks it down. Unless I can see something when I get there. Like, I'm basically going to get to the mortared well, wall. Well, that's got dark vision, yeah? Okay, so when you when yeah. you get to the mortared wall, it's only it's only three feet high. So Yeah, you can step you over. Could probably... And I'd also like to add, she was yelling like, ah, <laughs> like a battle cry as she ran <laughs> down there. So it was, uh, wait, wait, how do you go again? something else. <laughs> okay. Um, better, better than that. Okay, Liz. As you are running down um, your first five feet, I'm gonna need a, a deck save from deck saving throw. Okay, I'm I'm great at that. Yep. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So you take uh, one point of piercing damage, um, 
and uh, you moved another another five feet. But I would have been dodging the ouchies, right? Because well, I you can't really there. dodge the ouchies because they're strewn out. And there's you're like, just there's like two, <laughs> there's like two True. to like three hundred of them just like thrown all over the room. Got it. Okay, that's fine. Should have gathered like, them up and care. thrown them at the whatever is down the other end. So have I had one point of damage from both of them? Because so I've, you have had one point of damage. Uh, you just now took another point of damage. Yep. Um. I'm going to ask you to give me another deck saving throw since you went another five feet. Um, you moved back from around the corner here, so that would have been five, 10, 15, 20. Here, you would have taken one point, and actually, according to the rules, if you take damage from a Caltrop, uh, until the creature regains at least one hit point, your walking speed is reduced by 10 feet, but you are running, so... You're running, your speed is 30? 30, 30 speed, yeah. Okay, so if you're running, you're going 60 feet. Now, uh, it says your walking speed is reduced by 10 feet. I don't know how that would impact running. I would assume it would impact running the same way as walking. Nah, it's different muscles, so I think you're fine. Because your gait is longer, so you're... Yeah. I'm running on the on the toe on my toes and like from walking it's just in your heels. Okay, so that's five, I think 10, I'm fine. 15, Let's move on. 20. I think it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's 25. If you're going 60, that would drop from uh, 25 to 50 or 50. Okay, there's there's way too much math. <laughs> I know. What? <laughs> okay, uh, give me another deck saving throw to see if you. Oh no, you rolled a seven. Okay, so yeah, you take another sure ouchie. Did. You go like, to nine. This is bullshit. Is that, what, is like <laughs> running like, ow, running ow, through a field of bindies. Ow, ow, you ow, are ow, running ow. through a, uh, a hallway of ouchies, and you knew they were there. Running through a hallway of ouchies. <laughs> All right. So, uh, a hallway of ouchies. You make it to the wall. Now, would you yeah, like to? If you're if you're double moving, I can say even as part of the double movement, you could you could leap over the wall. Would you like to leap over the wall? Can I see what's over the wall? Well, I mean, are you going to come to a dead stop as you come to the wall? Because if you're coming to a dead stop, um, it's probably going to end your movement because you are because you're stopping your double move. Yeah, I don't think I'd run and leap. I think I would run and look. But I, if I could keep any move, would I be able to keep my movement to like swing yes. my great axe and smash the wall if I felt like that was a good idea? Okay, I see. And no, that's fine. I think I will still stop. You see that the filth on the floor stains on the walls, shabby hides, and a fire pit that attests to the years of this room has seen the hands of creatures unconcerned with any type of hygiene. On one side of the south side wall, you have a crudely mortared half wall, which you're standing in front of, complete with crenellations. And before you stand two goblins staring up at this big orc in a tutu. They're both holding their bows, n arrows knocked, and they just kind of like stare at you like, ah. and I yell out, good luck, Liz. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it's like, sup, nerds. <laughs> <laughs>